Crunch Labs, where you can see we are festively prepared for today's first ever gingerbread building and then destroying competition. Oh, 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 no. Now, to make this a fair fight, I'm bringing in younger, better looking version of Gordon Ramsay. Nick DiGiovanni. Good to see you, Mark. You too. First things first, we need some ingredients. We're both building a gingerbread house, but the catch is when we're done, we're gonna put it on an earthquake simulator. Can you explain to me what that would mean? I, it's like, Bleh. Does that help? This is how we're gonna play. <laughs> and because I know you're real nervous about my culinary skills, I'm installing an anti-cheat device. I might be tall enough that I can see over this Oh thing. no, that's a critical oversight. <laughs> All right, Nick, you ready? I'm ready. Clock starts. Now, let's go. So the key with cooking is you need to be quick. I'm gonna pull up my recipes. And I know Mark's not gonna be quick. Okay, okay, okay. Do you have recipe cards? I don't need recipe cards, Mark, come on. <laughs> that's not a good sign. Mark, do you know what this red thing in front of you is called? Uh, that's Twizzlers. He's right, those are Twizzlers. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go in with the Crisco, both of my eggs, as well as our spices. So, sugar goes in. Um, The white gooey stuff, probably. Oh, crud. <laughs> Already sounds terrible over there. I'm gonna guess that his workstation over there is gonna get pretty dirty. I can hear you, Nick. Here we go. Molasses is the key to a good gingerbread. Beautiful. You know what, I'm beyond measuring. I think this is molasses. That tastes like cough syrup. Mark, can you name three out of the five seasonings that go in gingerbread that we have uh, in front of us? Absolutely, me? ginger. Okay. Bread. Wrong mm. in so many different ways. I just distracted myself and spilled my nutmeg. Oh, nutmeg? Which is a key ingredient here. I've got it right where I want them. I'm down, lock it up, and we'll mix. Mark, why are we destroying our gingerbread houses? This place is called Crunch Labs. You're supposed to crunch stuff. I actually never thought about that. Actually, me neither till this moment that worked. <laughs> I can't see where Mark is at right now, but I'm gonna guess that he's still adding in his wet ingredients. Oh, wet ingredients. Thanks for the tip. Try to crack him with one hand. I always do a one hand crack. Let's see it. That actually Don't. worked. Don't get any shell. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sorry, it slipped. Definitely didn't slip. You also have to be really careful when mixing gingerbread because the engines can burn out pretty easily. Throw that down, lock her in. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no. It does not sound good over there. Is this supposed to happen? Yo, we're going down on the table with our gingerbread. Might need to do a hand knee. So the key at this point with gingerbread is that it's very, very crumbly. But if you get it crumbly just to the point where you can barely kind of pull it together, that's the perfect gingerbread. I'm getting tips by actually listening. <laughs> Cooking is hard. No! You good? We're good! This is just cooking. It's not sending stuff to space like you said, you know? So again, I'm just gonna continue rolling this He's out just a bit more here. And then just one last step. I have a few stencils here. I'm just going to carefully cut around a few stencils that are gonna help me to make this amazing gingerbread house. Now all that's left is the oven. Bye, Mark. What? He's already got the put in the oven phase? Time to transfer this to the tray. Okay, this is the tricky part. <laughs> Whoa, Mr. Beast! Whew, perfect. All in one piece, just like I planned. This is looking pretty good. With my gingerbread finally going into the oven, Nick's was already baked to perfection. But luckily, Nick didn't know about my secret weapon. Nothing to see here. Close this, and now we just let the laser cutter do all the hard work. Since my gingerbread house is now being stenciled out, I figured I could make myself useful through the power of Crunch Labs by annoying Nick. Dang it, it's too powerful. Alrighty, we are off to a hot start. <laughs> this is the Magnus Flyer where we learn all about the Magnus effect. I have no idea what Mark's doing over there. With the airplane launcher, we learn all about the engineering principle of springs. Too strong! This is the rocket revolver where we learn all about the power of air pressure. Eventually he's gonna run out of stuff to shoot at me. Oh yeah! With this rapid ball shooter, we learn all about the power of levers. He's gonna have this structural... What? Mark! Why aren't you building your gingerbread house, Mark? The trick super soaker. That looks really nice. Oh my God, it's getting wet. <laughs> Sorry, truce. What do you mean truce? I haven't done anything. I tell you what, that wasn't cool of me. You can have this and I'm a, I'll give you a free shot to get back at me. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Got it! How do you do that? <laughs> the old trick. You move the lever. Actually, can I see that again? Yeah, sure. Oh, no, you I'm gonna check out my laser cutter. Laser cutter? Coming through! I gotta make up for lost time. Here we go. I might have needed that. 
<laughs> what the heck? I needed some moisturizer. Thank you. Figured out how to use the gun. Nick's probably got some stupid little chef thing that he squeezes out. I be applying my frosting with the caulk gun. This is the power of the interlocking structure. You don't need that frosting glue as much. Hey, not the disc launcher. Wow, I'm impressed you actually shot me with it this time and not yourself. <laughs> I'm starting to build out the more major section of my house now, and then we can get to decorating, which is my favorite part of making a gingerbread house, besides eating it. My basic structure's in place. I think I just want to, like, cover it in frosting now. There's a trick for this to make it go faster. This feels like a scene from Ghost. Check this out. Anytime I think about food, I think about balance, so I want as much color as possible. What does that even mean? Mark, focus on your own house. Just from hearing you talk, I feel like we're taking very different approaches to this. Oh yeah, this is kind of satisfying. Before we finish and destroy these with an earthquake, I think the audience should judge and put in the comments whose gingerbread house looks better. I agree. My idea was to make it all white and that would look amazing. I haven't 100% executed on that. Now it's time to decorate it. Hoping that would stick better. Okay, okay. I'm liking this. So the color is really beginning to pop here. I have almost every color in the rainbow. When it comes to gingerbread house design, you don't design the gingerbread house. The gingerbread house designs you. Not a gingerbread house. Mark missed the whole assignment. It's like a gingerbread prison. I can hear you, Nick. This is looking really good. I just need a few finishing touches. You never saw this coming though. Look at that. Right here, we put the incredible Crunch Labs wrench, culminating in the greatest gingerbread tower of all time. Nick, how you doing? I've been done for about 15 minutes. Oh, <laughs> well then. All right, well then I think all that's left to do is get rid of this barrier and see what you got. I do have one more little finishing touch. Oh, you're though. not even done yet? Let it snow. <gasps> Whoa, is that edible? It's all edible. Wow. I wasn't intimidated until this moment. I call this the tower. I've trapped all those toys that you attacked me with during oh, the challenge. Oh, how dare you? They're all in there. That's why you couldn't find them. I actually love the columns in the front. Ah. And, th and that's me. It, he's just. <laughs> You're just hanging out in the window. He's just hanging out in the. I'm just gonna let that slide for now. <laughs> Nick, I also wanted to bring you to the holidays. It's wintry. If a blizzard had diarrhea, <laughs> this is what you get. First of all, just look around. There are some OSHA violations here. This mixer is still plugged in. <laughs> oh yeah. This yeah. is just yeah, concerning. As much as I want to yank the gingerbread man off the top here, I'm gonna leave him because that's almost all you have. Oh, here. you'll be the bigger person? I'm gonna be oh, the bigger that person That makes me here. feel worse. Kind of a dead heat. Which is why we need the earthquake table tiebreaker. Decide who won. To find out who has to go first? We're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. Good. Do you, have, do you have some trick? No, but this is Rocky. Good luck. Okay, is this best two out of three or one? Truthfully, it doesn't matter. Rocks, paper, scissors, shoot. Sucker! Good boy. Okay, we're here at the earthquake table. As a gentleman, I'm taking the first round. Why are there rubber bands? Mark, why do you have golf balls? It is how real life buildings earthquake proof themselves. It's basically on a bed of spheres that should mitigate the shaking from the earth. It's cheating, but I want to see what happens. Okay, me too, actually. Let's see, let's okay. see. Uh-oh. Oh, see? Wow! What magnitude is it? We're looking at like an 8-4. The beauty of engineering. That is so cool. You can't touch this. Sadly, this one doesn't have my anti-shaking golf balls on there. Let me just make sure there's not some other weird thing that you've put here. I think we're good. Godspeed, little fella. Here we go. Good luck. So far, so good. Uh-oh, the candy's falling. Oh, 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 no! Actually, it's kind of stabilized itself. This area is starting to worry me. A little Shakira hip shake right there. Survive. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what you got. That is not how I thought that was gonna go down. Okay, Nick, you nervous? A little bit. You got golf balls under there? I don't have any tricks up my sleeve. Structurally, I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty sound, but here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm losing some of my snow. But besides that, <laughs> wow, that is stout. It is not moving anywhere. Wow. We have two gingerbread houses that are still in perfect standing. I think we both know what we gotta do. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Why'd you shoot mine? Yeah! <laughs> that was crazy. No!
Wow. Now, even though mine clearly was the superior gingerbread house by every possible measure, Nyx did take more shots to destroy, so I graciously gave him the double. Yes. Nice. That is really fun.